Okay, Larry, let's go back to Hillary. How's her health? Probably fine. She's too mean to be otherwise. Well said. That's a that's a Larry Nichols statement if I ever heard one. Uh, no problem. Some rumors here and there, but it's just she's fine. Okay. She's fine. Yeah. I, I assure you, if she had any condition at all, it would be highly publicized. Uh-huh. And if she did have a condition, she'd yeah. probably make sure whoever found out about it never practiced medicine again. She's uh, beyond vindictive, this woman. She Don't is. Tell me about. Ask me about it. <laughs> she's. Uh, well, I know. She. She. She's a killer. Uh, she. In a heartbeat. Yeah. Now she uh, might not do it, but give her control of the CIA. Give her control of. Yeah. Rogue government groups. Sure. Independent contractors that we've got today. Yeah. You telling me? Oh, I know what you I mean, do. You know, you know it better yeah. than I'll ever know it, but I know it from here. I, <laughs> I remember what we talked about. I know you can look in that woman's eyes and figure it out, and look at her some of her reactions. It's all there, right there. You know, let, let me take you back to memory lane. Every show I ever did with you, I used to tell you this story. When Bill Clinton and I would go up to Fayetteville from Little Rock, mm-hmm. we'd get up on the mountain. We'd stop at this barbecue place. We'd sit out on this fence looking over to the mountain off the side of the mountain. He'd say, Nichols, you know what the perfect form of government would be? And I'd say, what? He'd say, if everybody was so poor that they could barely put shoes on the kids' feet and put food on the (laughs) table, you know what? They wouldn't give a damn about politics. Mm -hmm. And I'd say, yeah, I bet that'd be perfect. The problem is that's communism. He'd say, well, you know, whatever. Now, the reason they have fought for health care when he was president uh-huh. is, you see, health care is the key to breaking the people down. Look what's happened with Obamacare, and it hasn't even been implemented yet. Look Got what it's it. done. It's taken, yeah. it's taken hourly workers that were getting 40 hours, yeah. put them down to 29. That's right. It's taken thousands of jobs. People have already laid off people because of the planned cost. When they That's get right. through, when Hillary gets to be president, mm-hmm. if this thing's not stopped, then you got to be careful to figure out how to stop it because of the traitors that are Republicans. Mm-hmm. If it's not stopped, she's going to walk into the perfect government, Jeff. For her. People are going to be trying to live on 20 hours or 29 hours at $7 an hour. And she's got the perfect government. Oh, uh, absolutely. She will uh, completely bury what's left of the middle class. There won't be much left. Mm-hmm. They've created a two tier lower class, is what they've done here, with a little smidgen of the middle class left. But that's been the plan. And they've done it. We now, had this, it. Go ahead. Bill, we had it when I was with Bill and his plan to be president, but we all laughed because he was never going to be president. But we, we invented it. We called top to bottom, bottom to middle, middle to bottom, or top to middle, middle to bottom. It was the plan. Take people from the top, break the stock market, and the people that had all the money in the stock market, they uh-huh. become middle class, right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What happened in 08? Then... It'll build back up the people in the middle class and what tier left up in the top. And I'm talking about doctors and lawyers and such, not the Gates people. Then what happens is you do it again, and all the people in the middle now fall to the bottom, and you kiss it with the health care. And then, guess what? You got a problem. What do you do? Because you got all these people, and you're going to have all this Medicaid and Social Security and Medicare. And obviously, it can't work, right? Right. Well, still worker bee. Communist worker bee deal. Central Committee. Central Committee has worker bees, right? When worker bees get old, what do they do? You know, the, only, the only worker bees are productive ones, right? Correct. This health care package, folks, please listen to me. They say there's no such thing as death panels. Oh my God! It's right in the legisl. It's right in the bill. The more they look, the more they find this. This is not a health care bill. It's first of all a tax, but beyond that is a complete regulatory agency 
to literally dominate and control cradle to grave the American public. That's what it is. And guess what? If you want to stop the overindulgence of Medicare and Medicaid, just cut off the medicine to the seniors. Cut off the treatment. What happens? What happens? Yeah. 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 And you get rid of the old worker bees and you keep only the productive ones. Well, she's going to, you're right, she's going to step in the machine that she will drive Mm -hmm. this country to wherever she wants to. Wow. And you know what will be left when she gets there? A handful of ultra-rich Gates and whoever. Yeah, literally a handful. They're they're chopping this upper class down. You're right. Mm -hmm. So, you see, that's why I say, watch out. She's walking in to the most perfect scenario for the most perfect animal witch to ever have. You know, it, it would take a saint to take over after Obama. And then somebody really had to be a saint to step in, and I'm going to say maybe a Reagan, to step in and fix it and try to save it, right? It would. Right. She's not a saint. She will use it. Will they need, uh, Larry, will they need to rig the election in any way? I mean, how, these look. Okay. We we both know that elections are are not legit anymore. But I mean, is 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 there anything they will do? Well, yeah, they'll do exactly what we were trained to do. We trained them to do this. If you were going to run in the Democratic primary, what are you going to do? You're going to go out, suck all the money up. You're going to drive everybody out. What what do you call it? Kill them when they're young, right? Anybody that's going to run against you, get rid of anybody that might be a serious threat, which mm-hmm. you did not do with Obama. Mm-hmm. Well, now you got the Republican Party. What do you do? You take your money and your campaign and you fund the candidate covertly that can't beat you. And that's exactly what they're doing. <laughs> Too funny. And that's why that's why the Republicans will elect yeah. the only person that cannot beat Hillary. Well, you know, we've got maybe one chance. One chance in a million, which yeah. is the Tea Party. Oh, no, the Tea but Party. This. In my view, now correct me if I'm wrong. The Tea Party, Larry, you mentioned, and I I, I don't know if I'm on with this or, or off of this, but my view of it was genuine grassroots, some real people wanting to do some real work to try to do something to this country and take it out of the hands of the machine. And that thing was targeted sighted, dialed in, penetrated, and overtaken, controlled so quickly that nobody even realized what happened. Well, you're absolutely right. What the grassroots movement, I'll tell you to blame Beck, Glenn Beck. You know, Glenn Beck got on Fox. He fired people up. And yeah. he actually, I believe, to be the founder of the the Tea Party movement. Mm-hmm. But as so many people, Beck got it in his head, started making money, uh, and then he left the people. He didn't lead. Yeah. And so you have the Tea Party sitting out there, and, and God love them. God bless them. Yeah. But there, there's no direction. I mean, no. people know no. things are wrong, but there's no direction. Now, the fear I have, and I'm sure you do, is they're going to get fed up now. They've tried to penetrate the Republican Party. Four weeks ago, in case you want to know, Boehner, McConnell, uh, Reed, mm-hmm. and Pelosi, they made a deal for this deal that we're doing right now along with Obama. Four weeks ago. Mm-hmm. This was designed to do one thing and one thing only. They're going to shut down the government. Tea Party's going to get fired up. Then the Republicans are going to cave and say, look, the government was shut down. We had to we had to do the Obama thing. And then the Tea Party people are going to become so disillusioned because, once again, they got their hopes up, Jeff, thinking that, by God, we're doing it now, right? Correct. And they're going to fall flat. So then what you better be afraid of 
is then people are going to start breaking and say third party. When you get a third party, you elect the Democrats forever. <laughs> so, God love them. You know, the only thing that's going to save America, technically, is what happened in Egypt. People are just going to have to get out in the street. You know, and, people are just going to have to recall. Well, they're going to have to get out in the street, literally, and die. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, well, the Americans I mean, don't. It might, it might come to that. I mean, they're going to suffer. But you're going to have to get out there, and you're going to have to make such a scene. Yeah. And you're Ma- to mass to civil disobedience. The, the, but the American people, Larry, they don't have it, I, in my view. Mm-mm. Maybe 20 yeah. years ago, there was a flicker. It's gone. They're drugged mm-hmm. out. This social engineering and mass programming is so incredibly efficient now. It's a science. They know what they're doing with the public. They got this public so handheld, it's unbelievable. So, you know, Jeff, that's all of these people, uh, Limbaugh and uh, what's his name with Fox, you know, they call it, you know, get ready, you're fixing to be the number one talk show guest in America again because Hillary's coming and you'll be everywhere. And, you know, and I said, get real. You know, now my problem is I got three choices. Tell the truth. That's what I told Roger Hales. I said, Roger, I'm going to do, I'm not going to get in. Mm-hmm. He said, well, you got three choices. Tell the truth mm-hmm. about Hillary. Mm-hmm. And I said, yeah, I do that. I get attacked again. And by the way, if it hadn't been for radio stations, I'd have been killed a million times. Stations like yours. Oh, I, know. Like yours. I, I know. I know that. He said, number two, lie and say she's great. And I said, well, that ain't happening, because wouldn't anybody believe me? And he said, three, Nichols, just say no comment. And I said, yeah, Roger, that'll work. I've done that before. I've got whole stories printed in every major publication in the free world, as if I talked to a reporter. And you know, Jeff, I never even talked to the reporter. Front page of every paper, folks, in the free world. Not true. So... I guess I'm in a box. Well, okay. My question to you is, and God knows the door here is always open for you, and I'm, I am, again, so amazed that, that we're back together doing this, talking like this. I, well, I never thought... I'm I'd, tickled that you would ask me. <laughs> well, <laughs> Pretty my much pleasure. Nobody. I, if, if you, if you want to... I mean, I, I want to watch this process through your eyes as often as, as you care, every couple of months, whenever you want to come on, keep tabs on this. I don't want you to get, I mean, you know your boundaries. You know exactly where you can go and be safe and be dangerous and be in trouble and in jeopardy. But I want to, I, I want to have you on here as often as you want to come on as this thing starts to, to gel and coalesce. And it's obvious what's going on. So you're welcome. That's just a, that's just up on the table right now. But you know, well, here's if, what I'm going to say to you, Jeff. Yeah, I can beat the bitch. Remember, I have things on her that there is no statute of limitation, and I can prove them. Just well, that's like why they leave remember. you alone. Remember, with Bill Clinton, pound for pound, I hope you would say I, what I told you turned out to be true, didn't it? More Absolutely. Than anybody else. Absolutely. Even today, people, whenever I go someplace, people nowadays, they go to the internet and look you up. And I hear comment after comment, man, I heard an interview you did with this Jeff French guy. And go back and listen to him. That's yeah. what I do. Go back and listen to him. So shit didn't happen exactly like I said it would. Damn right it is. They're, in, they're all in the archives. You can find them. Larry Nichols. Just go start looking. Uh, this is... Uh, this is remarkable. 